The HS Steer DD is an unmanned scrapjet demonstration aircraft for hypersonic speed flight. The HS Steer DD program is run by the Indian Defence Research and Development Organisation. India is pushing ahead with the development of ground and flight test hardware as part of an ambitious plan for a hypersonic cruise missile. The Defence Research and Development Laboratory's Hypersonic Technology Demonstrator Vehicle HS Steer DD is intended to attain autonomous scrapjet flight for 20 seconds, using a solid rocket launch booster. The research will also inform India's interest in reusable launch vehicles. The eventual target is to reach Mach 6.5 at an altitude of 32.5 km 20 miles. Initial flight testing is aimed at validating the aerodynamics of the air vehicle, as well as its thermal properties and scrapjet engine performance. The mock-up of the HS Steer DB was shown at the Aero India exhibition in Bangalore in February. See photo and S. Padmir Silvam, the DRAL's project director, says engineers aim to begin flight testing a full-scale air-breathing model powered by one 300 pounds dot thrust scrapjet engine in near future. India is pushing ahead with the development of ground and flight test hardware as part of an ambitious plan for a hypersonic cruise missile. The Defence Research and Development Laboratory's Hypersonic Technology Demonstrator Vehicle HS Steer DD is intended to attain autonomous scrapjet flight for 20 seconds, using a solid rocket launch booster. The research will also inform India's interest in reusable launch vehicles. The eventual target is to reach Mach 6.5 at an altitude of 32.5 km 20 miles. Initial flight testing is aimed at validating the aerodynamics of the air vehicle, as well as its thermal properties and scrapjet engine performance. The mock-up of the HS Steer DB was shown at the Aero India exhibition in Bangalore in February. See photo and S. Padmir Silvam, the DRAL's project director, says engineers aim to begin flight testing a full-scale air-breathing model powered by one 300 pounds dot thrust scrapjet engine in near future. Israel has provided some assistance on the HS Steer DB program, including wind tunnel testing, as has Cranfield University of the UK. An unnamed third country is helping as well. India's main defense industrial partner is Russia which has carried out considerable research into hypersonic propulsion. The one metric ton, 5.6 meter 18 four dot long air vehicle under construction features a flattened octagonal cross section with mid-body stub wings and raked tail fins and a 3.7 meter rectangular section their intake. The scrapjet engine is located under the mid-body with the aft body serving as part of the exhaust nozzle. Development work on the engine is also in progress. Two parallel fences in the forebody are meant to reduce spillage and increase thrust. Part span flaps are provided at the trailing edge of the wings for roll control. The deflectable nozzle cowl at the combustor end can deflect up to 25 degrees to ensure satisfactory performance during power off and power on phases. Surfaces of the airframe's bottom, wings and tail are made of titanium alloy, while aluminum alloy comprises the top surface. The inner surface of the double wall engine is niobium alloy and the outer surface is pneumonic alloy. Due to technology denial of material for the scrapjet engine, a new program was initiated and the materials were developed in-house. This led to self-sufficiency in the area and the scrapjet engine was ground-tested successfully for 20s instead of the initial 3s. The 116 scale model of the vehicle was tested at a hypersonic wind tunnel operated by Israel Aerospace Industries. The isolated intake has been tested at a trisonic wind tunnel at India's National Aerospace Laboratory NAL in Bangalore. During the lab testing the scrapjet engine was tested twice for 20s. 
A total of five to six tests are required before the test flight. The test flight was expected to take place by the end of 2010. In November 2010, DRDO officials told press that they were in the process of opening for state-of-the-art facilities inside as well as in the vicinity of Hyderabad at a cost of more than $10,149,000,000 over the next five years. Reportedly, they will invest $3 to $4 billion $66 to $88 million for setting up a much-needed hypersonic wind tunnel at Hyderabad's missile complex. The facility facilitate testing of various parameters of the hypersonic technology development vehicle HS-DV including engine performance. It is pivotal to test the HS-DV in a range of up to Mach 12. This will be a unique installation in India. Saraswa told off and street on November 22, 2010. As of December 2011, the scientists had proved technologies for aerodynamics, aerothermodynamics, engine and hot structures through design and ground testing. Ahead of the launch, we will have to now focus on the mechanical and electrical integration, control and guidance system along with their packaging, checkout system. HIL's hardware in loop simulation and launch readiness, sources said. In early 2016, it was announced that the vehicle will be tested by December 2016.